The City Oilers Basketball Club has been playing at the grand stage since its establishment 12 years ago, competing at such championship games as FIBA and the National Basketball League, where it's locked in eight consecutive National Basketball League championships since 2014. However, where it comes to big competition, none on the African continent beats the Basketball Africa League Ball Championship, where the team will make its debut next month. City Oilers veteran players like Tony Drilleba and team captain James Okello acknowledge that playing at the ball is a dream come true. It's, it's been a long wait for us. The first time around, you know, we fell short um, in 2019. It was very heartbreaking uh, and it took us a, a much longer time because of COVID uh, to be able to get back to this point, you know, and now to even just think about the games coming up and you know we're part of the best 12 teams in Africa it's a, a very unbelievable feeling. The team attributes its high level play that helped it secure a ball a regular season slot last November in South Africa to adding new players like Fayed Bari, Titus Luwal and Jermaine Raybrook Jr. to the established stars like Jimmy Enabu and Ben Komakic. With the, the way that recruitment has been done is based on what we need as a team, uh, depth, uh, experience. Some of the new players can really play. I think the, the management has made the necessary adjustments to the team. A total of 12 African teams will compete in the 2023 ball regular season. The qualified teams are split into two groups of six, with the top four from the Sahara Conference starting in March and the Nile Conference starting in April qualifying for the quarterfinals in May in Rwanda for the championship. Uganda's City Oilers is in the Nile Conference to be held in Egypt next month. City Oilers coach Mande Juruni is unfazed by the team's competitors. He wants to uh, continue uh, building chemistry in the team that we, that we had. Um, obviously, uh, there are some uh, weaknesses that we saw uh, in South Africa that we need to uh, correct and uh, because of that uh, we know we might add in um, one or two players uh, to reinforce the team. We have the experience and so we're up for it. We know what's uh, ahead of us. Uh, we know um, what we need to do uh, for us to be able to compete. Let's go Oilers! Let's go! Let's go Oilers! As the team prepares for its ball debut next month, in Uganda fans are expectant of a victory from their favorite team. My favorite coach, of course, that's coach Mande Juruni. Then my favorite player uh, for the next ongoing ball, we have Titus Raul, he's just joined us. Very good shooter, very good in the paint. Then of course, expectations for the ball, it's our debut. Uh, we expect to, of course, not to be there for numbers. We want to go out there and compete, give out the results. And of course, we will be representing our country, Uganda. The Bala Championship regular season starts with the Sahara Conference in Dakar, Senegal on March 11th with reigning champions the U.S. Monastery of Tunisia, Senegalese outfit A.S. Duanes, Rwanda's Energy Group, Nigeria's Quara Falcons, Abija Basketball Club Fighters of Ivory Coast and Stad Malian from Mali. Reporting for VOA, this is John Sentamu from Kampala, Uganda.